Over the last four years, these three seniors have contributed to 84 Butler victories. Jackson Aldridge, a native of Sydney, Australia, our first senior boasted an extensive background in national and international competitions prior to his arrival on campus, including serving as point guard for the Australian team at the 2011 FIBA U19 World Championship. During his time in a Bulldog uniform, Jackson Aldridge has played in 102 games, averaging 2.1 points per contest. He scored a career-high 15 in victories over Stanford in December 2011 and Youngstown State in February 2012. This season, he has played in 18 games, scoring 22 points, including a season-high 10 in the Dogs' win over Kennesaw State. His free throw with four seconds left clinched a conference victory at then number 21, Seton Hall. Tonight, he is joined on the court by his mother, Sharon Aldridge Jackson. Aldridge. <laughs> Alex Barlow. Tonight's second senior began his career at Butler as a walk-on and played his final home game at Hinkle tonight, having started every game of the last two seasons. Over the course of his career, the Springboro, Ohio native has averaged 4.9 points and 2.3 assists per game. Tally a career high 19 against DePaul last March and Villanova this February. As the Bulldogs' primary point guard, he led the Big East in assist turnover ratio in 2013-14. This season, Barlow is second in the conference in steals and 13th in the NCAA. He also sits fourth on the Butler all-time steal list. In addition to his on-court performance, Alex has excelled in the classroom, earning Big East Scholar Athlete of the Year honors for 2013-14. And last week, he became one of 15 NCAA Division I basketball players named to the 2014-15 Capital One Academic All-America team. Escorted by his parents, Tom and Tammy Barlow. Alex Barlow. Cameron Woods. Tonight's final senior has played 131 games in a Bulldog uniform, averaging 5.8 points and 6.8 rebounds per game over his career. He led the Bulldogs in block shots in his first three seasons, and he's tallied 122 blocks over his career. He scored his career high of 17 against UMass in 2013 and tied it last season in the Butler victory at DePaul. This season, Woods has started all 29 games for the Dogs, notching seven double-doubles. He tallied a career high 19 rebounds in an overtime victory at Marquette. Currently sits second in the Big East and 24th in Division I with 270, 284 total rebounds. He currently is third on Butler's all-time career rebounding list with 894. A native of Louisville, Kentucky. Cameron is escorted today by his parents, Rhonda Clark and Kevin Woods. Cameron Woods. Okay, I know I speak for uh, our team and, and these three seniors in particular, and we, we all want to thank you for the energy you brought tonight. Give yourselves a hand. It was an unbelievable uh, night full of energy. I know they wanted nothing more, uh, nothing more than to, to, to get a win. Uh, I'm going to turn it over uh, to these three special kids. They've meant a lot to our coaching staff, and if I keep talking, I'm going to get choked up, but they have... Uh, meant so much. So uh, we're really proud of them, really proud of all three.
I'm sure they're, they will hold their composure better, better than I will. You want to switch up the, uh, okay. Walters. Walters. All right, uh, before we get started here, um, you know, the four of us have been here for four years, but we wanted to recognize somebody else uh, who's been here for all four of our years. So, Ari, come out here. Um, if you guys don't know, this is Ari. Uh, she's been a ball girl for, what, five years now? Uh, she just turned 14 yesterday, and uh, today was her last game, and she'll be going to high school next year at Lawrence Central. Lawrence Central, so we just wanted to honor her um, here tonight with us and give her a signed basketball. I'll try to be uh, short and sweet. Uh, Cam's the talker of the group, so he's the last. We put him at the end, so i finish with him. Uh, first of all, my teammates and the coaching staff, uh, first and foremost, you know, uh, we've grown over the last four years. Uh, we kind of joked the other day that I think we're the only three players ever to go through three coaches, three conferences. Um, so, you know, we've done it all, and we kind of joked that we can probably write a book about college basketball. Um, You know, so we, we've kind of been the beneficiaries of, of the two banners up there and we've seen all the progress and programs made and um, I can tell you all guys, the program's in really safe hands with, with Holt and the rest of these guys so you have nothing to worry about. I think there's big and exciting things ahead. Um, secondly, sorry. Secondly to the fans, um, you guys are unbelievable, especially for me. You know, uh, I haven't had my mom and dad around, so everyone here has made me feel really, really welcome. Um, I felt like it's a second home for me now in Indiana, and uh, I think that... Uh... So I think... Uh... My family and I have to reciprocate that, uh, that welcoming nature you guys have, have given us. Um, so if any of you, yeah, if any of you are in Australia, hit us up, we'll take care of you. But the problem on that is we've just, my sister and I have moved out now, so we just downsize home. So probably one at a time, we don't have a whole lot of space. Um, but in all seriousness, thank you so much. It's been the ride of my life. Uh, the program's introduced me to my best friends, um, and, and also for me, provided me with an opportunity next year to, to do what I love um, in the finance industry. Uh, and the school's been really, really helpful to me with that. So I just want to thank all you guys, and uh, I'll see you guys around. These last four years uh, have been incredible. Um, you know, I never dreamed of being up here uh, playing for Butler. Um, you know, I couldn't be here without. Uh... Without uh, these three people standing up here with me today. Um, a lot, of, a lot of people would have invested $150,000 in a kid's dream uh, to play Division One basketball and become a coach. But these three made a lot of sacrifices that you know, made this possible. So I just want to first off thank them and thank them for everything they've done for me. the crimes over now. Um, next, I want to thank the coaches, my teammates, for these last four years. Uh, you know, these guys welcomed me in when I first got here. Um, none of them knew who I was, never had seen me play, and they all opened me with, or, uh, welcomed me with open arms. Uh, so for them, you know, I'm forever thankful. Um, I formed some bonds with some of my teammates that you know, I'm going to have forever. So I want to thank you guys um, for that as well. 
And lastly, you know, I want to thank you know the administrative people um, at Butler who you know do a lot of the dirty work that don't get um, you know noticed. Um, and, and then you fans, you guys have been incredible. You guys have changed you know so many games here, and made such a difference in so many different games. Um, the atmosphere uh, here is second to none, and I'm going to really miss playing here. Um, but you know, we've got a long season still ahead of us. So once again, thank you, and go dogs. I promise I won't be long. They said I was, but I'll try and keep it short. Um, you know, I want to start off by thanking these two people standing next to me. Um, I'm not going to try and cry either, but uh, my mom used to call me a knucklehead in high school um, because I wasn't always the brightest. I didn't always make the right decisions. And uh, I think coming to Butler was the best decision of my life. I, uh, You picture, you picture what four years are, are going to be like when you leave high school, and this has been nothing of what I expected, and it's turned out to be a good thing. Um, you know, Hinkle isn't just a place that we play basketball at. This is a place that, you know, we call home. Um, I think what makes us different is those guys over there aren't just teammates. Those are guys that, you know, we would trust with anything. They're like family to us. So I want to thank all you guys in here and thank those guys over there because without them, I don't think any of us would be standing here right now. Lastly, um, you know, personally, I, I, I think when we all came in here, you think of what you want to be remembered as. Um, you know, us three guys wanted to be remembered for, for being winners, for being guys who represented Butler the right way, for playing hard. Um, we weren't always perfect, but uh, if there's one thing that we want to take away is that we just want to be remembered for guys who represented this program the right way because, I mean, this is going to go on for a long time. We have great players here. We got a coaching staff that believes in the way that we do things. So this stuff is going to carry on forever in that regard. So for us three guys, I think the last thing we want to do is just be remembered as guys who represented Butler the right way. And uh, I hope we did that. Thank you guys for everything.